Do you ever do your makeup and within two hours you see yourself in the mirror and you're like, oh my word, my makeup doesn't even look done. It's a smudged mess. I'm gonna show you exactly how to get the most gorgeous dewy makeup, but it's gonna last you all day without having to touch it up, with no creasing, with no caking and weird ugly smudging, it's gonna stay perfectly. Okay, so I've already prepped my face with some moisturizer to make sure that my skin prep is done. And then I'm just gonna go in with the NARS foundation. This is the light reflecting foundation in the color, I don't know the color, sorry. I'll figure it out. And I'm just gonna put two pumps on my hand. But before that, I'm going to put a little bit of color corrector under my eyes. This is the Bobbi Brown color corrector. It is magic. I just put a tiny bit on my finger and tap it into my skin under my eyes. Tapping it in is gonna help it actually go into your skin better rather than just swiping it and kind of moving the product around over your skin. I'm gonna use a foundation brush for my foundation and I'm gonna tap it into my skin to get the most smooth look and actually have it go into my skin a little bit better. And as you can see, I am a little bit more pale than my foundation. I do not tan my face at all. I always have a sunscreen on, so it's always a couple shades lighter than my actual body. So I kind of get a foundation that's in between so that my face isn't 12 shades lighter than the rest of me. I have really been liking the NARS foundation. I love trying new products and this has been one of my most recent ones, but it's so beautiful. It's like in between a full medium coverage foundation, but not super sheer. And it just gives you this really beautiful finish that still looks like your skin. I love it. And then I'm always gonna bring the leftover on my brush just down onto my neck to make sure there's no lines anywhere and everything is just blended really well. Next, I'm gonna go in with my concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And it's in the color 22N Light Neutral. And I'm gonna be honest, it's a big, trend to like do a ton of concealer but as you wear it, it cakes up really bad so i recommend to all my friends and any clients less concealer is actually going to be better for longing long wear makeup because it's not going to crease it's not going to show smile lines so the less you can do the better i just put a tiny dot in the inner of my eyes tiny dot on my chin because i have a little bit of breakouts there and a tiny dot right here above my eyebrow where i also have some little discoloration so less concealer is better it's gonna look better throughout the day you're gonna look more natural and you're not gonna have nearly as much creasing and caking up throughout the day you can probably see a little difference in the way I've applied my concealer a lot of people on social media apply a big glob right here and then over here they'll do a full triangle don't do that especially if you're a little bit older, have mature skin, you're gonna get so much more creasing and it's just gonna age you. The less you can do, the better. And if you do have really bad discoloration under your eyes, use a color corrector like I did instead of extra concealer. Then I'm just gonna blend it out with a little sponge. I really have been liking these. They're from Sephora. And it's like a smaller sponge. I can get in a little bit better. And I'm just tapping it again into my skin and blending that product out lightly. And then I do go over my eyelid a little bit with it just to remove any extra discoloration. Now I'm gonna go in and lightly set my concealer to make sure it stays in place all day without creasing. And I'm gonna use the Givenchy Prism Libre Powder. This is my favorite. It gives such a beautiful finish. And I'm going to go in using that with a powder puff. I'll link these. I just grabbed them off Amazon. 
but they are amazing. And then I put it on my puff, rub it into my puff a little bit, and then dab it on. I feel like using a powder puff to set your concealer makes such a big difference in creasing. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows next. I'm just gonna use the Sephora, I think it's just the Sephora crayon brow pencil and it's in the color taupe super easy to use and gives you a really pretty natural brow. It also has a very thin edge, which I really like because you can give what appears to be actual hairs through your brows. And I start on the bottom and then go to the top, focusing on the edge first. Just light strokes. And then I'm just going to in the front, super light strokes right in the inner. Following the natural growth of the hair. I do like to keep a pretty natural brow though, so I try not to overdo it. Next, I'm gonna go in with my contour and bronzer, and this is where I feel like you can differ a lot. Cream and liquid bronzer is so in right now, and I have used them a lot, but they just don't last nearly as long. So for me, I kind of prefer a powder bronzer because it seems to last for a way longer time without smudging, without moving and smearing. So I prefer these, and I think it gives you a really beautiful finish as well. We'll still keep it glowy, but I'm just gonna use this Kat Von D contour palette. I'm going with an angled brush first and I'm going with the cool toned. Your contour should always be more cool toned to mimic natural shadows and then your bronzer is always warm toned to mimic the sun and the glow of the sun. So contour is gonna go underneath your cheekbone. I'm gonna follow it from the top of my ear towards my lip. We're just gonna add a little bit of natural shadow back into my face. Super light strokes and tapping it into your skin. And then I'm gonna do under my chin. Anything that would be a natural shadow on your face, you're going to try to mimic that with your contour. And then on the edges of my nose, super lightly. And then I'm just going to right at the top of my hairline. Now I'm gonna go in with a more warm toned color for my bronzer. And we're gonna actually place that a little bit higher. So more on the high points of my face. So directly on my cheekbone. A little bit on my nose. And then on my chin. And then just make sure everything is blended out and you don't have any harsh lines. Then I'm gonna go in with my blush. I'm gonna be using a blush brush. It's a little bit tapered at the edge, which I really appreciate. And then I'm using the Hourglass blush. I think this one's super pretty. Then I'm just applying directly on my cheekbone, kinda high. I put a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on the tip of my nose, a little bit on my chin. And usually I'll do a double blush because I do really like blush. I think it shows up really pretty in photos and it gives you a really beautiful sun-kissed look. So I'm now going in with the NARS Orgasm blush, but any blush will work. 
Okay, I'm now going in with a highlighter. As you can see, this one is very well loved. It's the Dior highlighter and I desperately needed a new one. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it on the top of my lip, tip of my nose. I'm gonna go in on my cheekbone. I'm just applying it with my finger because I think it gives a really pretty look and also it's just easy. Above my brow, a little bit under my brow. And then I'm just gonna go in and blend all those just a little bit so it looks like a really natural glow rather than just a stark highlight look. It's gonna look super natural and as if I'm just naturally glowing. Always do a little bit on my chin too. Then any extra, put it on your collarbones and let them pop. For your eyeshadow, you can go all out and you can do a super dramatic look. For me, I'm just gonna do something pretty simple today. I'm gonna actually use my contour palette that I was using and we're just gonna do a quick eyeshadow look, but you can do whatever you would like. I'm gonna use that cool toned eyeshadow and just place it in the corner and then on my brow bone. For my specific eye shape, I'm taking my eyeshadow a little bit higher on my brow bone to bring my eyes up more. If I was just to put it in the crease, because the way my eyes are shaped, they're a little bit more hooded, you wouldn't even see the eyeshadow. So bringing it onto the brow bone is gonna open my eyes up and you're actually gonna see it as well. Then I'm gonna take a more warm toned, darker color from my contour powder. And I'm just gonna put it right in that little corner, just to darken it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go back to that cool tone color. It's a little lighter and I'm just gonna go underneath my lash line on the bottom lashes, just to bring it all together and make your eyes pop a little bit more. Okay, we're almost done. I'm just gonna use some gold shimmer. I love shimmer on my eyes. It really makes my eyes pop. I like to use it in the center to the inner corner. So I'm just gonna apply that with my finger and it'll give me a really pretty glowy golden eyeshadow look. Then sometimes I get my sparkle a little too far out, so I'm gonna go back and just darken up that corner a tiny bit. And that's all I'm gonna do for eyeshadow. I'm just gonna keep it pretty simple. And then if you love an eyeliner, you can totally wing out your eyes and give yourself a super dramatic eyeliner. For me, I don't usually wear eyeliner with the shape of my eyes. It tends to bring my eyes down a little bit, so I usually just do a good mascara, couple coats to make sure my eyelashes are popping, and that's pretty much all I do. But I'll show you how I finish with a lipstick because I feel like it really changes the look. I'm gonna show you my favorite lip combination too, so stay tuned. This is my go-to and it gives you the most stunning, natural lip, but it's just gorgeous. Hourglass Mascara is my favorite. It is so good. It gives the most gorgeous lashes and they stay in place all day. There's no smearing, no smudging. I'm someone who has watery eyes too, so I have trouble with um, mascaras usually. This one's the best though. My mascara is done, but I could never get my mascara on without at least getting a tiny bit on my eyelid. I'm pretty sure it's the shape of my eyes because I never do this to anybody else except for myself. I'm just gonna remove that with a little spoilie. It literally makes it fall off. Okay, next, my favorite lip combo. All of you have been asking me about this recently, especially on my social media. So I'm gonna share with you. It's amazing. Once you get it, you're gonna be obsessed with it and it's all you're gonna wear. I'm gonna use the NYX lip liner in the color Nude Truffle. It's the perfect medium natural color. It's a little bit more nude and it is so pretty. I'm just gonna line my lips lightly.
Okay, I have them lined. I'm just gonna smudge it with my finger a tiny bit. And then I'm gonna use my MAC lipstick in the color Honey Love. It's more pink tone, and so it's really gonna contrast those colors and give you the prettiest lip combination. Look how gorgeous. I love it. I always just tap them together a little bit. Try not to rub them together throughout the day and too much because it'll kind of separate that formula and it'll make it not as long lasting. And then I'll just finish this with a gloss. Last thing you're not gonna forget to do is you're gonna set it with a setting spray. This is the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I'm just gonna spray it all over my face. And it's gonna keep this in place all day. I'm usually doing my makeup super early in the morning. And so keeping it all day is super important to me because I only want to be able to do it once and not have to touch it up. Using powder products, using good technique is going to help it last way longer without creasing, without caking, without weird looking smudges. So I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.